accepted to walk with you because you're part of the tribe. They're accepting me? You think so? Yes. That's what's happening now. They have a lot of survival instinct where it's just natural instinct that's going to kick in. Unlike humans where basically they always have to be trained on everything, there's obviously some things that these guys will learn from their mom and will learn from situations when they're out in the wild, but there's also a lot that's just natural. When some of the other lions here were young, they actually took down a zebra when they are only like eight months old, which is incredible. So yeah guys, here we are, walking with lions. Something that you would think is not possible at all. <laughs> totally is when you work with the animal enough. But obviously guys never approach a wild lion. You don't want to approach a wild lion. They're not going to think of you as part of their pride. They won't think of you as somebody that's their friend. Even lions will test other lions. So sometimes you'll see lions where even though they're the member of the pride, they test each other to see who's dominant. And uh, well, us humans aren't gonna be very good at that. So George, when that happens, what, what do you do when that happens when, cause they think of you as kind of the top person of the pride. What do you do, man? I just have to respect um, our commands and that relationship that we have actually built with them. That's why constantly uh, they keep on coming to us so that we can create more of a touch bonding. So once they start coming towards us, we give them that love, we give them that respect also at the same time. And obviously, time to time, we tend to study also their behaviors. We know that they're wild animals, they've got that wildness in them. Remember, we train them for their good behaviors and bad behaviors. So it doesn't mean that if he, even if he runs away from us, he's not going to be rewarded. As long as he's back to us, he's going to be rewarded again. So it's a two-way thing. Uh, we do reward them with... Uh, for their good behaviors and for their bad behaviors. But they know that at the end of the day, they're going to be getting a very good treat because they know that we cannot really bite the hand that feeds us. Let's go. Look at that jump. Will these guys weigh probably about 400 pounds, you think? Uh, hip hop weighs 240 kilos. 240 kilos? Yeah. I don't know what that is in pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm in South Africa. They don't do pounds here. 2.6 pounds. How much? 480 pounds. 480 pounds. 480 pounds. So I was about right. 400. Come. 6.24. 6.24? 2.6 pounds to the kilogram. Come, here go. So 600 pounds. Come. <laughs> So yeah, so this is the water hole. And luckily, there aren't any crocs in here. Otherwise, the lions would be way smarter than me. The other thing is lions actually are good swimmers. You think because they're so cautious when they come up and drink that they don't swim very well. They swim well, it's just that they're trying to watch out for the crocs. So when they know there's not a croc present, they will swim, they will jump in the water, and uh, they will be playful and enjoy that. They're not like cats that hate water. It's just they're looking out for their uh, predator, the number one predator that can actually get them. And uh, so they're kind of keeping that in mind. You see how they have their mane and they have their, their fur color here. They'd rather blend into stuff like this, the dead grass. And in the winter time here in Africa, what happens is all this grass dies. But when the grass dies, these guys will blend even more in and it'll make it even easier for them to go ahead and get the prey. See you guys later. Lions are going back. And uh, guys, if you like that video, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button, Wild Charles on Facebook, Wild Charles on Instagram, Wild Charles on YouTube, and Uka Tula on Instagram. Go out and check out these guys. They are in Brits, South Africa. You can, uh, if you're on vacation here or something, you can actually come by, stop by, and uh, say hi to these guys. Hi. Hi, how are you? Come visit the lions and the cats. Come enjoy nature at its best. <laughs>